This video will introduce you to the top 5 facts about Samsung. Before we get into the subject, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. One of the mobile world kings, Samsung, has built itself into a massive mobile and electronics empire, though its story starts much earlier, in 1938. Over the years, the company has evolved significantly, bringing innovation into countless markets going well beyond just mobile and electronics. Its story is interesting, full of both highs and lows. Let's explore some of the more interesting facts about this Korean giant. Right from its founding, Lee Byung-chul believed his new company was the start of something much bigger. The company's name choice reflected this ambition. Built from the Korean words Sam, 3, and Sung, stars, the tri-star symbol is said to culturally represent something big, numerous, and powerful. This was a pretty bold claim for a trading company of 40 employees dealing in locally grown produce and the creation of noodles. Since then, Samsung's found its way into a lot more than just noodle making, which leads us to another interesting fact. Let's start. How many people does Samsung employ? While some of you may already know this, the Korean company is way more than just an electronics and mobile producer. The Samsung Group has 59 unlisted companies and 19 listed, all with their primary listings on the Korean exchange. These companies range from construction to financial services, shipbuilding, and even medical industries. Samsung Electronics, alone, employs over 267,000 people as of 2020, across 80 different countries, including Korea. Another fun fact. Samsung's construction division built the Burj Khalifa skyscraper in Dubai, pictured above, the tallest building in the world, as of this writing, at 2,722 feet. How much of South Korea's GDP comes from Samsung? We have already mentioned how many companies and how many employees are part of the Samsung Group. All those subsidiaries and workers mean the company takes up a massive amount of the total GDP of its home country, South Korea. In 2017, CNN reported the total resources of the Samsung Group made up about 15% of the country's GDP. Over 20% of its market value is based on various Samsung Group companies on the Korean Stock Exchange. Most of that comes from just one company, Samsung Electronics. What were Samsung Electronics' first products? The first electronics product ever produced by Samsung was a black and white TV in 1970. The company expanded a great deal in the following decades, and in 1986 entered into the mobile game with a car phone. While Samsung's early TV efforts were fairly well received, the first cell car phone from the company was poorly received and sold terribly. How many times has Samsung's logo changed? While the Samsung logo changed a few times before the 70s, it stayed pretty consistent after this. It has significantly changed only three times. The current logo came to be in 2005. As you can see above, there have been seven logos since Samsung's inception. When did Samsung Electronics come to be? While Samsung has been involved with electronics in the mobile industry for many decades now, in 1993, Samsung chairman Lee Kun Hee, above, pushed forward a new management philosophy encouraging product quality as one of its core tenets. He encouraged his staff to change everything except for their family. To further promote this notion, Samsung's Human Resource Development Center created new training and development courses to help with this professional growth. When did it really take off? Saying you're going to focus on quality and taking that all-important step across the threshold are often two different things, and they indeed were for Samsung. In 1995, Kun Hee Lee would reportedly find himself frustrated with the quality of his products and the company's lack of change. To drive his point home, numerous phones were stacked up high, joined by televisions, fax machines, and other gear. Lee and his board of directors then proceeded to destroy each of these products, even going so far as to break the cases and screens using heavy hammers. As the story goes, Lee made sure around 2,000 employees witnessed this. That day, more than $50 million worth of hardware was destroyed, and a new Samsung was finally born. Following this, the era of new management truly began, marked by rapid growth and global success, which has only continued to gain momentum in the decades to follow. Samsung fans can thank Lee and his board, and their willingness to perform an extreme drop test for the products they enjoy today. Since that day, they've certainly created a number of firsts in the electronic industry. Whether you're a Samsung fan or not, the company has an interesting past. It has gone through a fair share of successes and failures. What do you think is the most interesting thing about Samsung? Any interesting facts we missed? 
please share them with us in the comments below. So this is our video for today. If you like our video don't forget to subscribe to our channel or hit the bell icon. We will meet again with another interesting topic till then stay safe and stay happy.